Hello, human-shaped friends. Uh, we got another mushroom. This one is a yellow morale. It's a morale mushroom. Um, morale, sorry. Not morale as in morality, but morale as in the morale mushroom. <laughs> uh, this is another one of those that uh, in theory is edible, but apparently there are some other mushrooms that look really similar to it. So don't just like eat things. I've said this many times. I will probably continue to say this. Don't just like eat things that you find. I am not a for 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 forager. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, hi. It's a mushroom. It's the watercolor. It's a time lapse. It's it's the two out of the three things that basically I'm always doing. <laughs> um yeah. Hello, how is your day going? You, you having fun? You enjoying yourself? You uh, you going insane? You slowly, slowly realizing that no matter what you do and how hard you try, literally none of it matters. Just me, anyway. Uh, yeah. So I'm looking around my little, my little, my little workroom here. Um, thinking about how well protected I am. My partner has mounted. Well, not mounted. Mounted is substantially more stable <laughs> uh, my partner has a couple of uh swords on the wall well one sword and one dagger that is apparently the perfect length for a dagger and this is a conversation that we had and i still am not over it um because apparently it's a pairing dagger you know so well you're you know sword fighting or if someone comes at you with the sword bam you got a dagger and it's nice and long enough that you can still do damage and puncture vital organs but it's not so long it's actually just a short sword because i look at it and i think to myself that's a hobbit sword right there but apparently it's just a dagger because it's too big in my brain in my brain i think dagger i think about throwing daggers you know about like hand size so you can like hide them i think about sneaky rogue daggers but i, I see this and i'm just like now nah, it's just a short sword but apparently it's not apparently it is a dagger for sword play who knew well my partner did who learned well apparently i did <laughs> uh yeah and then the other one is a uh kind of fencing apparently it's is very pretty like i i enjoy looking at it yeah why am i talking about this oh right because i'm going insane and nothing means anything um and then i was looking at the art on my walls you know because uh, I'm a big believer in you need to fill your home with things you harmonize with. And I've lived in places where the aesthetic didn't harmonize with me. The individual pieces, like, and it wasn't great. Like, obviously you deal with it, but when it's your own space and you can make it yours, like, I want to push my aesthetic to the extreme because I, it's what I love. And I have some friends who have very similar aesthetics to me and they do that in their homes. And I'm like, yes, that is what I want. How did you do that? And they're like, I go outside. And I'm like, well, that is the difference. <laughs> I don't go to the fun shops or the fun expos to get the fun things because that requires leaving my home. But occasionally I do get gifted things that super match me and i'm literally just looking around right now at the the gifted things and like yeah nah my friends my friends get me that's nice that hasn't always been the case and then the one at least in this particular space that that i purchased which was the weirdest decision i was at an anime convention the shop was like perma closing, so they just like brought in a bunch of their weird stuff as well as the stuff that they would normally bring. And it's like this canvas stretched print of a Japanese woman with a bunch of matches in a match boxes in a halo around a lit match. And I saw it and I was like, when I get my own place, this is going to be the first piece of art I put up on the wall. And that is exactly what I did. And I still have it. <laughs> that was like 10 years ago and I still have it. Yeah, I guess that's 
that's that that's all they wrote um yeah i hope you like a mushroom i hope you're having a splendid day i hope you also learned that apparently daggers are not supposed to be hand sized they're supposed to be like two hand sized because i still don't know if i agree with that and i hope that your home is filled with the art you love bye